approved their part of the deal to build a new stadium and develop the surrounding area. Eight on your side, Lenny Supal covering that big decision. Lenny, I understand the critics are crunching the numbers tonight. Yes, one commissioner making his stance very clear. He says that $300 million investment is just too high and the plan to finance the funds could double the cost. Pinellas County Commissioners stepping up to the plate, approving a $300 million investment that will go towards backing the $1.3 billion project to build a new stadium for the Tampa Bay Rays. There are some people even with this commission that weren't comfortable, so they are, have continually changed and listened to what people had to say and made the changes, made the modifications, and in the end, I think we have a really good product. You know, when you add all of it up in the totality, our taxpayers deserved a better deal. Critics wary of the cost. The dollars will come from the county's tourist development tax dollars with a goal of attracting more tourists to the area. They're getting it for a couple hundred million dollars less than it's appraised for and the fact that they can buy that land at any time over the next 25 years at today's prices and we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop fighting for housing. Dylan Dames, a lead organizer at a series of protests leading up to the discussion, keeping a careful watch on the deal's promise of redeveloping the land surrounding the stadium and the 1,200 affordable housing units expected. We're going to be asking some pretty hard questions and making some pretty uh, bold moves to, to, to bargain for power in this redevelopment. So again, not over until it's over. So supporters tonight focused on the economic impact, the 5,000 residential units that will come with a hotel as well as mixed use development. They say it will also bring more than 15,000 jobs to the area. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.